Hi everyone and welcome back to the London Watch Collector channel. If you've just tuned in to my channel, I'm a watch collector, a watch enthusiast, I'm basically addicted to watches. And on my channel, I'll be sharing my passion for watches using 4K content. I'll be discussing and showing you brilliant timepieces ranging from Seiko to Patek Philippe. So guys, if you enjoy my reviews, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click on the notification bell and follow me on Instagram. Yes guys, you read it right. The title says it, and I don't even know what to say. So basically what's happening is I need to travel abroad to Muscat in Oman. And obviously because it's COVID, the only way I'm allowed to be in the country is that upon arrival, I do a COVID test and I need to have a pre-booked hotel whereby I need to quarantine for seven days. On the eighth day, I have to do another PCR test. If I'm negative, then I'm allowed to leave the hotel. Not only that, guys, I need to wear a wristband on my wrist so that they'll be able to track me in case I try to leave. So it is hardcore. When I came back from my travels a couple of weeks back and I had to quarantine at home in London, that was still fine because you're at home in your own space, whereby you move around the house, you can go into the garden, you can go out and clean your cars and just stay somehow entertained. But imagine being abroad and sitting in a hotel whereby you will be stuck in the room you're not allowed to leave you can't socialize with anyone all i have with me is my rolex it's going to be an interesting one for sure i'm excited to do this this is going to be a long one probably and i have no idea what's it going to turn out like but i thought i'm going to be filming step by step and hope for the best and I have some good news for you guys. So Bosphorus Leather contacted me again. They sent me two watch rolls, one for me to keep and one for one of you lucky winners. And it's a four watch roll. So I'm going to show you the one that I'm keeping, which is the green. And the end of this video, I'll be showing you the one I'll be giving away and give you all the details on how to participate in the giveaway and when will I be announcing the winner, etc. To show you the one that I'm keeping, which is in olive green. I love the color of it. I love the material. And I decided to feature four GMT watches, as you can see there, because they are the best travel companions. What better than to take those watches with me? So the all famous, one of my all time favorites, the Patek Philippe Aquanaut Travel Time Reference 5164A. As you know, I've added this to my collection back in 2018. It's been a watch that I've taken with me on many adventures. I've traveled with it quite a lot. One of my all time favorite. Moving on to the Skydweller Reference 326934, the blue dial, let's call it as the unicorn of the Skydweller. Everybody wants this piece. I haven't worn this watch in a while, to be honest. It's more of a dressy watch and it's quite flashy especially the bezel the pcl links it gets lots of attention but one of my ultimate favorites for sure moving on to the third one the 126710 blro aka pepsi love this watch will always be in a collection a true iconic piece with the classic pepsi colors again one of my all-time favorites love this watch last but not least the latest acquisition the rolex explorer 2 the polar dial and guys this is the watch that will be featured in this video. Although I will be taking all four watches with me, this watch will be featured in this video because I feel it's being an explorer. It needs to explore this. It needs to keep me company, be the perfect companion, and hopefully get me through those eight long days. So without further ado, guys, let's head to the airport, hop onto the plane, and I'm quite anxious, not sure what to expect, but let's hope for the best.
bound only by frozen So guys, I just finished showering. I freshened up. It's exactly 2.11 in the morning and it just hit me and I'm just realizing what I'm actually going to have to do. As you can see, I'm wearing the bracelet. It is waterproof if you're wondering. So I'm not allowed to take it off. And as you can see from the app, this marks day one and I'm only allowed to leave the hotel on day eight do a COVID test if i test negative then i'll be able to leave if not then i have to extend obviously it's going to be interesting this is the only way for me to be able to enter the country so this marks day one the first day i checked in i'll catch you guys in the morning i'm just gonna try to stay focused stay busy i'll discuss with you guys my plan in the morning good morning guys as you can see it's 10 30 so i slept at 3 woke up at 10 not a bad sleep, I'm still kind of jet lagged, but nevertheless, let's make a start to the morning. Let's check out the view. A beautiful sunny day in Oman. I'll probably do a time lapse later for you guys. I have my GoPro on me, I'll just stick it to the window and do a time lapse. I have no idea what I'll be doing today, but I'm just gonna keep busy, probably do some editing and see how it goes. I'm not sure about you guys, but one thing that I always do the moment I wake up is I have to do my bed. It is something that I just got used to, something that I've once watched, uh, probably on YouTube or somewhere, a really high-ranked major in the army. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed, will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made. That you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. Andrew, that's probably them calling for my breakfast. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, good morning. Yeah, so what's what's on the menu? All right, what's the continental? Yeah, that's yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, please. But can I have just uh, two slices of toast, uh, brown bread, please? And um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what about fresh juices? All right. Uh, what about tea? Uh, probably English breakfast, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, cold. 
Perfect. Uh, as soon as possible, once it's ready. Thank you. Bye. So we're gonna hop into the shower, freshen up, and I'll see you in a second. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna do this hot experience slash challenge with just my Rolex watch. If you've seen this, I've featured this a couple of weeks ago and I've did the full unboxing. I've decided to take the Explorer 2 with me as I feel it definitely fits this sort of video whereby I am stuck in a hotel in another country and it's all about the exploring, it's all about the adventures, hopefully once this quarantine is over and I can't wait to take it with me on this trip. So as you can see, both the 24 hour hand as well as the 12 hour hand are both at the UK London time, which is 7.06 in the morning. So I'll, I'll need to adjust it to Oman local time, which is four hours ahead of the UK. So all I have to do is unscrew the crown, pull out the crown to position one, whereby it will not stop the seconds hand and then just advance it by four so one two three four currently local time in oman it's 1106 back in the uk as you can see indicated by the orange 24 hour hand it's 706 london time don't forget to screw back the crown to confirm your 100 meter waterproofness. So this watch is going to be with me on my adventure in Oman, probably take it with me elsewhere and I'll probably do a follow-up video probably six months later or one year later whereby I'll share with you my experience with this watch just like I did with the James Cameron and I guess it matches my bracelet both having a white dial. So guys as you can see it's 1245 Still on my first day, I spent the last two hours or so on the phone, had to return some calls, spoke to family, friends, and I'm just going to start editing now, preparing Saturday's review. So I think the easiest way to do this is to just keep looking forward to the next thing. For example, looking forward to a meal, looking forward to something. It's all psychological, as long as you keep busy, keep an aim. It's easier said on the first day. I don't know how I'm going to feel on the seventh day, but I guess we're going to find out. But I hope that gives you some sort of way on how to go on with such an experience. So I just sat down, about to do some editing. We're going to give the Omega a nice wash. There's a new product that I started using for the last couple of months, which I highly recommend. I'll discuss that with you probably tomorrow on day two or day three. Let's see. And charging the GoPro so I can do some time lapse for you guys. I have the kit for that. Probably put it out on the window so that we can grab ourselves a good time lapse. So guys, as you can see, it's the 6th at 3.30 in the afternoon. It's literally day three, so five days to go. And I'm still at it. I haven't gone out of schedule. I'm still eating healthy, as you can see. But I try to change things. So I'm going to probably go and have my snack in bed, watch TV, just so that I change scenery, just to make it less boring, I guess. But staying busy, doing lots of editing, filming as well for you guys. And I guess the secret is to stay as busy as possible
So guys, today is day six and to be honest, it's a day that I'm quite down, so bored. And regardless if you're in a five-star hotel or if you're in a deserted island, if you're alone, if you're restricted, if you don't have company of people you love, it's inevitable that you will feel down. Regardless of how positive you are, regardless of how busy you try to be, but it's definitely a day that I feel quite down. I'm just trying to boost myself. We have two days to go and let's hope for the best. I don't know how time is so slow. I try to nap when I can, but then the whole night I'm awake. But anyway, I'm still at it. I have no choice, obviously. Looking forward for the last day. I planned a nice fishing trip. It's gonna be a full of activities. I'm gonna make sure to film everything for you guys, but let's hope for the best. So guys, as you can see, it's the 10th at 8.26 p.m. So I'm going to go do the test at 12.30. There's a clinic that's open 24 hours. So I'm going to do a test and then come back and hopefully wake up for the results and finally be out of this hotel. I have been losing it for the last two days, but trying to keep my spirits up. As you can tell, I'm quite excited because it's getting to the end. Probably going to walk it, to be frank. It's just going to be fun to walk. Let's see. So I'll catch you in a couple of hours, guys, for my first walk after eight days along with my Explorer 2. Two and a half hours to go, guys. I'm just doing some work, counting down the hours. I'm having second thoughts when it comes to the walk. I'm probably just gonna drive there. It's gonna be like 12.30. I've been awake since seven, so I'll probably be too tired to walk. So I'm just gonna drive and I'll save the walking for tomorrow. So I have booked the fishing trips as discussed, but I'm thinking I might do a different vlog because this video is already too long. Probably call it something exciting, probably Rolex versus Tuna or something like that. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you once it's time to leave in two and a half hours. Finally, guys, it just turned eight days on the 11th at 12.17 a.m. So, guys just got into the car heading to the hospital to do the COVID test so hopefully it will be back by the morning just driving is feels like I don't know how to explain it as you know compared to the UK here they drive on the left so it takes a bit of time to get used to I especially at roundabouts and stuff but oh boy I'm enjoying this at exactly 12:27 and the roads are empty and I'm having a blast I, you should see the smile on my face guys you really have to appreciate the fact you know pre-covid and everything else we used to underestimate the small little things for example just being free being without a mask being able to just drive in the middle of the night and being able to travel and so many things this whole pandemic truly changed everything and i'm just very hopeful that it'll be over soon so whoever is watching this just pull through guys there's always light at the end of the tunnel just remember that when this whole thing started eight days ago i felt that i'll never be able to pull through but if you put your mind to it you look at the positive things you keep an aim you keep some sort of goal at the end of it whether as i said in the beginning if it's a meal if it's a chore if it's a phone call just always keep some sort of positive aim at the end of it which will always make it easier and i hope this message reaches everyone out there and if you're listening to this and you feel that you've reached your limit just remember it will be over soon regardless of where you are in the world or what you're doing so the hospital is like two minutes away so i'm gonna go and they're obviously not gonna remove the bracelet because unless the test comes back negative then i need to go back to them confirm the results once again and then they remove the bracelet because even the removal of the bracelet needs to be logged in so it's probably going to be by tomorrow noon so i just thought i'd save myself those 12 hours just so that I can be out by roughly no time tomorrow.
guys it's official i am officially out of lockdown i am free to move about no more bracelet i'm over the moon as you can tell thanks for joining me during this eight days on this experience it wasn't easy at times but all in all i pulled through luckily and i have a fishing trip planned i'll probably upload the vlog in a week or two but i'll catch you on the next one guys and as promised here is the giveaway i promise you in the beginning so guys as promised here's the giveaway i promised you guys in the beginning of this video so once again a huge shout out to bosphorus leather for sending me out two watch rolls which one that i'll keep and one will be given away to one of you lucky winners so as you can see, this is in a light blue gray color. It's for a four watch roll with a suede finish with clip-ons for each individual one. So any of the four watches can easily be removed and connected accordingly. So all you have to do guys is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me and follow Bosphorus Leather on Instagram. And then under the post on Instagram, tag three friends for a chance to win this watch roll. I'll keep everything in the description below. Just follow the steps and good luck to everyone and exactly in a week's time so next saturday i'll be announcing the winner on instagram good luck to everyone that's all for this week thank you for watching